Alrighty, so today we're going to show you guys how to frame a rough opening for a recessed medicine chest. Take the box for your medicine chest, find the rough opening that they want. In this case, it's 13 and a half wide by 23 and a half high. We're going to mark that and transfer that over to the wall so we can look at our dimensions as we are working out. Next, we're going to find our size of our vanity. Our vanity is going to be 30 inches with a half inch overhang on the marble. So then we also need an additional half inch to allow for the sheetrock on that wall. So we measure over 31 inches. Then we find our center line, which happens to be 15 and a half inches off the wall, as that's half of 31. We then mark our inside and outside lines from our center point. So we get the dimensions we need. Now, in this case, we have to change. Now, the I don't have my laser level, so we're so going to do this the old-fashioned way. We use our sawzall and our multi-tool after we re remove the original ledge. We cut, and we make sure that we cut square, because the idea of this box is it has to be both plumb and square. As you can see, we got to cut, fasten it down with some deck screws, leveling it, plumbing it. Now we're using two by fours that we pre-cut to size, which is 23 and a half for our rough opening. And we're putting them exactly where they need to be, screwing down from the top and the bottom, making sure that it's securely fastened and also making sure it's plumb. So when we sheetrock over it, it will not be an issue where it sticks out too far or is recessed too much. Now here you'll see there's space on either side, that's fine. We take a picture and we note where this is so when we do the sheetrock over it, we can then go back and cut it out at a later point. Now we measure and make sure it's exactly 13 and a half by 25. This medicine chest is on the bit of the narrow side, which is fine, but we have it all marked out. Now that it's marked and cut, we do our test. We lay it out and we make sure it fits. This is key because we will be sheetrocking this and we don't want the stud to be in the way later. All issues must be ironed out now so it just slides in after sheetrock is done. Installing this is one of the last things we do after the vanity's up, after the wall's painted. So this part, the rough opening and layout is key. It has to be perfect so there's no issues later on. As you'll see, this is uh, exactly the way they wanted it. This is fits and it's perfectly centered, level, and plumb, as you'll hey, see we're checking here. Again, Jeff. this medicine chest is centered over where the future vanity will be. It's actually centered directly over the drain, which will be center of the sink, which will be center of the vanity. Everything must be symmetrical, which it is. Now we take it out. We check everything. We know that it fits. We know that it will go back. And we're going to have the sheetrock come in. We're going to sheetrock over everything. We have our dimensions and our picture, so I know exactly where it is. We'll block it out. And then we will cut our hole with our drywall cutout tool. Thanks for following. Now we got our drywall everything in. So we're drywalled over our frame. Now we're painted. Now it's time to actually install our medicine chest. We have our magnetic level that we do on both sides. Check plumb level and square, even though our frame is. Use we have white finished screws to fasten it to match the white of the chest. We then set our shelf height and we have it installed. Next, our vanity will go in. Hi, this is Princess Delaney. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.